Hey people, are you looking for one color that you can use throughout your entire house? Well, I got five of them. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, your source for all things painting and decorating. If you're picking colors for your painter or you're the painter yourself, our goal is to provide you with the best possible paint content on YouTube. Whether you're a pro or an average Joe, we got you covered. If you've watched some of our color videos before, you may have heard me throw around the term main color. Normally when I'm doing a color consultation in someone's house, I'll almost always have one color that is going to be used most predominantly, and that's the main color. In a lot of cases, it'll be the only color for the people that want a clean slate or a more simplistic and understated look throughout their home. A good main color should be fairly neutral as it will be venturing into multiple different spaces throughout the home with different furniture and changing lighting conditions. No matter where it ends up, it should look good. I've gathered five colors that I feel are good candidates if you just want to pick a single color for all the walls in your home. Now just a quick disclaimer before we begin. When you're selecting your main color, I always recommend picking it in your largest, most open area in the home. The reason being, it'll have the most wall surface area to consider, and it's most likely going to have the most adjoining visible rooms to consider as well. It essentially has the most reach within your home. Let's get to the colors. Starting with the lightest one of the bunch, Oxford White. For a truly clean slate, go with white. A lot of people appreciate the art gallery aesthetic, and white walls will do that. Oxford white is clean and chic and just has the slightest amount of warmth and some light gray to it. It's enough to make your walls feel like they've been painted rather than just primed. Just be aware that with white walls, the upkeep of keeping those walls clean might be a bit more demanding than an off-white or a light gray, for example. Assuming you want something a bit more substantial than white, take a look at classic gray one of my consistent go-to main color choices. Classic Gray is great at tying in taupe and gray color schemes. It's quite light, but not too light where it'll blend into your white trim and woodwork. And its touch of brown allows it to complement all kinds of floors. This would be one of the first colors I would look at, but if you find it's just a bit too brown, the next option I would give you is Silver Satin. Similar to Classic Gray, but just has less of that reddish brown hue and it dials in the gray a little bit more as well. Its focus is a high class gray tone, but in certain lighting, there could be a bit of green that comes through. It's not enough to put anyone off though, because I've used it many, many times over the years, and it seems to fit a more modern decor perfectly. Now, if you sort of like classic gray and silver satin, but find them a bit too light, then I would recommend you take a look at Balboa Mist. Another light neutral that has some warmth to it, but being darker than the others, that warmth will come through a little bit more prominently. It works wonderfully in spaces with a good amount of light, but even in areas that don't, it'll still remain pleasant looking. It's been categorized as being part of the off-white collection in Benjamin Moore's color palette, but to be honest, I would say it's on the darker end of that grouping. Really, it's more of a light mid-tone. You shouldn't be worried about it feeling too dark, unless if it's in a dimly lit basement, for example. In fact, the darkest color I would recommend as a main color would be Edgecomb Gray. Now with an LRV of 64, it's still a lighter mid-tone, but has a decent amount of depth to it. Its warmth keeps it uplifting, even in more dimly lit areas. In fact, you may have noticed that all of these colors lean more towards the warmer side of the neutral scale, and that's because they just seem to do a better job at harmonizing more spaces. You could absolutely pick a cooler main color, but it'll have a specific look to it, and it may stand out a bit more in a lot of cases. Here's some more detail on Edgecomb Gray. We showcased it recently on our video series all about paint color called Color Code. I'll also put a playlist of that same series right over there. If you got something out of this video, show us with a smash of the like button. That's what the kids say these days, right? That's it for this one. See you on the next one.